it's not easy, you know. The fact that we don't really speak English at the beginning when we're going to school. Congolese refugee Joseph Akiochi is a college student at San Diego City College. He came to San Diego in 2012 when he was 17 years old from a refugee camp in Tanzania. Most of my life, I grew up in a refugee camp for 15 years. Akiochi is one of about two dozen community members talking about how to help immigrants transitioning to new lives in San Diego. You know, just ask people three simple questions of, what are your hopes and dreams? Uh, what are some barriers you face? And what solutions do you want to see? Samuel Choi is the lead organizer of Welcoming San Diego, a coalition of public agencies and nonprofit organizations. What does a one-stop shop look like for community services, health, finance, housing, food? His goal is to create better support for immigrants like Akiochi and his family so they may more easily integrate and contribute in San Diego. So things are already existing, like what, do we, what can we do to either get those programs out to the communities that are not yet um, aware about these, uh, or specific language groups, specific uh, ethnic groups that are uh, not being engaged. He says discussions around education are often raised because the events are held in school classrooms. But the forums also tackle topics of employment, public safety, and more. He says data is collected through the discussions at the meeting, but also through surveys. One is a quantitative one where it's just uh, 20 questions uh, ranging from, you know, how do you feel about access to health care or housing, um, or just simply how do, you, how do you feel safe, do you feel welcome in your neighborhood. So we're going to capture those um, to see if there's any trends in terms of demographics uh, of, you know, breakdown of refugees versus asylees versus immigrants or age. Choi will compile all of the input he collects into a final report due this fall. Barriers, the language. Uh, language access. He says the group is still figuring out what recommendations um, it will make to the city of San Diego. Okay, now we have this data, now we have all these uh, input from the community. How do we actually turn that into a report that is both aspirational but not too pie in the sky? In the meantime, the workshops may already be leaving an impact. But at my school, there are a lot of second generation students. 16 year old Maya Tipton says the conversations with newly arrived immigrants mean her realize the welcoming role she can play in her own school. Yeah. The daughter of an immigrant says this especially applies to students who may also speak Japanese. As a high school student, I'm just into actually like going to like club events. Like I might be like, hey, join my club, you know, we, we're going to be talking about this and this. Like it's going to be so much fun. Like, this is how you can get involved within our community and how you can share your ideas. And you can say, oh, like, come join the sport. They want to be able to support the family. Ikiochi says it's that kind of opportunity that helped him transition to San Diego from his years in the refugee camp. He struggled using English to build connections with his peers when he first arrived six years ago. Some of my friends, I asked them questions like, why are you guys, it's so hard for you guys to get a job. But a nonprofit running club in City Heights helped him connect a different way. We, we were all share is the common of like all we all like had a passion of running so we were also like working together and that really bring us like a, like a family. Akiochi is now working to address language barriers for other refugees as a fellow with the local nonprofit Rise San Diego. I always take kids to the library to help them to read the book so and I put them together to read it to each other so they can understand the literatures so they can be able to read to the parent letters, they can be able to take the parent to hospital and the translator for them. I eventually was able to be first generation college student. The Welcoming San Diego initiative also comes from a RISE fellow, Samuel Choi. In America. He hopes it will lead to the creation of an immigrant serving city office. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.